What do you get when you mix a German Shepherd with a Chow Chow? A very intimidating ball of fluff. This is Song Chi, and he is five years old. First, I am blowing out his coat with my high velocity dryer to loosen it up for the bath. This creates a lot of flying dander, and it's not my most favorite thing to do. As usual, he's a little bit nervous about the groom, so he so kindly released his anal glands for me. For those of you that have not had the joy of knowing what those smell like, consider yourself lucky. I am bathing him first in our de-shedding shampoo, and then a second time in our sugar cookie shampoo, because tis the season. It smells exactly like Dunkaroos, and it's made by Groomer's Choice. Being that he is half German Shepherd, it is expected that the majority of the time that he's here, he will spend it whining. His bath takes me a total of 35 minutes. We will be using our undercoat nozzle today to remove the majority of his fur before the blow dry. A lot of you have asked why I don't use the nozzle on every dog that's shedding. This nozzle requires very strong water pressure that is only available in my bathtub. Not every dog is comfortable going into the tub, that's why I have a walk-in shower. In addition to that, a lot of dogs don't like being bathed, so instead of leaving them in the bathtub with the nozzle for a considerable amount of time, I switch over to the dryer instead. Everything that I do is to accommodate each individual pet's needs. This must have been a very soothing process for Songchi, because he turned into a cat and started licking the air in appreciation. For a dog like Songchi, the water nozzle is life. After we have removed as much hair as possible, it's off to the drying table. I spray him down in our quick dry spray, and I brush that through his coat, and then I blow dry him with the high velocity dryer. Songchi has a love-hate relationship with grooming. First you see the love, but soon will come the hate. Don't forget, in celebration of a million subscribers, we are giving away $1,500. Please read the description of the video to find out how you can enter. Song Chi is a nice boy, unless you mess with his owner or try to brush him. Hey. As always, I gave him multiple chances, but if he's going to show me his teeth, he will be wearing the muzzle of shame. While I don't think that he would ever actually bite me, I'm not willing to take that risk. This muzzle is not bite-proof, but it fools him into thinking that he can't get me. Using my chunkers, I cut through some of his matting so that it's easier to brush out and does not cause pulling. There is something about brushing out his matted coat into soft, luscious locks that is so satisfying. I clip his nails. And then I shave out his paw pads. I trim up his Grinch feet. And then of course, I do some doggy detailing. Once he is finished, I spray him down in our sugar cookie cologne 
and Songshi is ready to show the horses on his farm who the true majestic creature is. And today, for our pet of the day, we have four-year-old Kokido from Swanton, Vermont, who clearly did not want to wear the bandana. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this very epic transformation on the sassy Songchi.